Good evening, this is Irvish Shaw. Make sure you come to live from my digital channel as I continue on my art series on the state black history, part 181. Uh, we're talking about the events and most that took place on September 27th. Let's get into it. September 27th, the number one RB song in 1969 was Over the Night by the Dells. September 27th, 1952, the son of a former Memphis preacher, Johnny Ace, hit number one on September 27th, 1952, on the charts, RB. His first single, My Song. His song would stay there for nine weeks. Sixteen years later, Aretha Franklin would re-energize My Song to the tune of number 10 R&B, number 31 pop. September 27, 1968, Jackson 5, Last Night in the Pips, Bobby Taylor and the Vancouver's and Shorty Long performed at a benefit for the mayor of Gary, Indiana at the Gilroy Stadium at Gary. Jackson's were originally called the Ripples and Waves plus Michael. Interesting. Jackson 5 were originally called the Ripples and Waves plus Michael. Not September 27th, 1969. The originals, Baby I'm For Real, number 14 pop and number one R&B was released. Freddie Gorman of the quartet had penned the marvelous hit Please Mr. Postman eight years earlier. September 27th, 1987. Marvin Gaye received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. September 27th, 1992. The Neville Brothers Performing in Luciano Pavarotti's horse stable in Modena, Italy, as a fundraiser to benefit leukemia research. And finally, on September 27, 1994, George Benson sang a duet with the Muppets for the Kermit Unpigged album, which was issued on September 27, 1994. So, that includes a look at the most events that took place in Black Music History, Honest Day in Black Music History, Part 181. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Do a video on this magnitude tomorrow. Until then, talk to you tomorrow.